there was a time we were struggling in ministry about two years ago right we were struggling in ministry struggling in ministry and i had the word i had the prophetic people think now that we are posting on tiktok uh prophecies they think that that's when uh, i i began prophesy the ones who began with me know. I started with international prophecy, not even with individual prophecy. I would pick this person to win that election next year, and this will happen, and that will happen, and this, this will, all this. Even Edgar Longu sitting with Hakaindi after he, he had lost elections, and Rupia Banda being that room, I was only prophet in Zambia who talked about it. But people are not coming to church. And I, you, you know, I told God, Nafi Leka, Mwe. Nafi Leka. Two's down. I put two's down. I said, no, 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 no. It's either my faith is okay because my faith is intact and you are a liar. It is between these two. So when you are ready to come to your servant that you sent, I'll wait. But I'm not preaching anymore. Because a witness must have evidence. How are you a witness, not evidence? How do you bear witness in court? What kind of a lawyer are you without evidence? How can you win the case? I said, Lord, there is, there is no evidence. The evidence you're giving me is not sufficient. No one is buying it. How do you take a product to the marketplace which no one is buying? You have to sit down and analyze. He said, only a fool that does the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. I said, no, two's down. I, I even went on Netflix and began to watch movies. I said, boss, when you are ready, I didn't send myself. When you are ready. And he has a funny way of dealing with his servants. And I, I slept and I had a dream. After like two months, he, he thought I was joking. After two months, like, this guy is serious, this guy. Two's down. The way you used to riot at Onza, yeah, I was also rioting before God. Protest. In those days, prophets would even cut their hair and become bald. And they would stay naked. And say, until you answer me, I'm not wear clothes. Uh, the God you know is from Chinsali. He isn't the real Jesus. <laughs> and I was there. And in the dream, I was packing rice into a plastic. As I pack it, there's a hole under. It comes out. As I pack it, and I was so frustrated. And I saw a man coming in white from head to toe. Approaching me, he didn't say anything. He sat on the floor by the side just watching what I was doing. He was, he was just watching. After I was struggling for I don't know how long, then he asked me a question. Do you need help? And I turned to him in a very angry tone. Says, so this is the only time you have noticed that I need help. So all this time, where have you been? You don't know that your anger goes with you when you sleep. Eh? I don't think you know. Your soul remains angry in that realm. Then he says, give it to me. Immediately he held it like that. He says, come, I'll show you how to pack. How people started being drawn to our ministry, I don't know. We have been doing the same thing that we were doing previously. We haven't changed. Ask the people who have been following us for years. We haven't changed. I have, I have not changed. It's not like I'm wearing some special suits. I'm not a suit guy. Our message hasn't changed. But there's now a power. What was drawing the multitude to Jesus? You see, witches are copying these things from us. What was drawing them? Jesus was drawing a multitude. You are failing to draw a man. You know, sit, sometimes sit down and analyze these things. What power was pulling them? Jesus had no microphone. 
How did he preach to 5,000? How did they hear him? I know, you just skip the scriptures without thinking through them. 5,000 people. No microphone. You have impact. You have no physical vein. You are preaching at mountains. And in deserts. You are even borrowing a boat. You say, let, let me stand inside so that I can preach. People didn't care that there was no venue. People didn't care that they were just following him. What was drawing them? He says, if any man has to come to me, my father draw with him. Have you read that verse? Ah, let's go to your Bible. You think prophet is getting these things from his head? John 6 verse 44. Quickly. There's a power. Yes. Yes. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. And I will raise him up. Jesus. No one can come to your business. Oh, you think it's by those principles? No, the macroeconomic level. No one cometh to me except the Father that has sent me draweth him. There is a power in him that is drawing people to him. Oh, you think you just came to Jesus? Oh, his power drew you. There is power to make you fall. There is power to make you come. 